Hi, my name's Lee. If you're around in the 70s in Australia, chances are you ate this dish. It's called beef chow ming. There's not much chow or ming about it, but it was considered exotic back then. The thing is, it looks pretty terrible, but it tastes pretty delicious. Easy to come together, perfect for camping, perfect for your children, they love it. Perfect for an easy weeknight meal. And this is the original recipe, so let's go, let's make it. You need a large onion. So we start by just dicing that. So first up, we light our stove just to a sort of like a lowish heat a medium low heat, not too high. And we add a little oil just to fry the onions in. So just a, a tablespoon or so. So we just saute that for a few minutes until they're a little bit softer. And while that's sauteing, we'll get the rest of the ingredients ready. The recipe calls for some celery and this is a sad bit of celery I had left but you know this dish is not about crisp vegetables. The vegetables are cooked so much they're, they're almost well they're soggy but in a good way. So I can totally use this celery. So about a three sticks of celery and just dice it fine. The only other thing we need to chop is some cabbage and um, we'll be using this. We don't put this in straight away. We add this in the last 15 minutes, but we might as well chop it now. So about a quarter of a cabbage and you just want to shred that like so. If you've got any large bits of cabbage leaves that, aren't, that have come away, just sort of roll them up and then slice them. And that's all the chopping we need to do. Oh, actually, to be honest, the recipe calls for fresh green beans, but we're camping, and so we're gonna add tin green beans, which is fine for this recipe, because as I said, they cook down anyway to a bit of a mush. So the onions have been cooking for a few minutes. I'm gonna add just like a teaspoon of garlic. So if you've got fresh garlic, just one or two cloves, just a little bit of garlic. The original recipe doesn't call for garlic and this is the only thing I've tweaked. Garlic was also very exotic in Australia in the 70s. So we'll just stir that in. Now we add a half a kilo, 500 grams, and we add that minced beef with the onions. I think in America, a half a kilo, like 500 grams, of minced steak is equivalent to about a pound of minced steak there. Round about that, maybe a pound in a little bit, 1.1 or something, or something like that. So what we wanna do now is just brown that mince. It'll take a few minutes, and we're gonna brown the mince with the onions and a little bit of garlic that I've added. So the mince has been cooking for a few minutes with the onions and it's brown and now we add every other ingredient except the cabbage. So we add the celery that we cut earlier, give that a little stir, one tablespoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, the original recipe called for a teaspoon of salt, but I'm going to taste it at the end and see if it needs salt because the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce are quite salty. And the next ingredient is also salty, which is a packet of chicken noodle soup. We add our 
tin of green beans. And just two tablespoons of white rice. Or any rice actually, because we're going to cook it for about 30 to 40 minutes after this. Now, sorry, this is another ingredient that wasn't in there. Some pepper, but I love black pepper. And lastly, we add two cups of water. Give it a stir. I haven't cooked this for so long, for so many years, and just the smell of it is bringing back memories. So what we do is we bring it to the boil. And once it comes to the boil, we put the lid on and we reduce the heat to low and we gently simmer it really gently for about 25 to 30 minutes. And um, check it halfway just to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom, which it shouldn't do if your flame's on very low. So it's come to the boil. Now I'm going to put the lid on and reduce the heat to really low and check it in about 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, it's bubbling away really lovely. Just put on the lid and just boil it for another 10 minutes or so. So now it's looking like I remember. And now I add the cabbage. Give it a little stir. Put on the lid and cook it for another 10 minutes and then we're done. So the cabbage has been cooking for about 10 minutes and now the chow mein's ready. So give it a good stir. Time to serve. I'm a little bit excited to try this. So chow mein's great with rice. Well the way we used to have it was on hot buttered toast. So I've buttered some toast and there's the chow mein. So I'll just pile it on top of the toast. Doesn't look that ugly to be honest. <laughs> now the exciting part. Time to try it. Mmm. Mmm. That brings back memories. Food is so powerful like that. I haven't eaten this over 20 years. And I think it's really important that these recipes from the past are kept. So thanks for watching this. You have to try it. It's really yum actually. Really easy. And um, ugly but delicious. Thanks for watching. See you next time.